Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, and today is a ghost question. Okay, I've received a text and I've got it here on my phone and it reads this. Hi Linda, hope you're feeling a bit better. Thank you so much for caring. You know who you are, okay, because I know you're going to be watching this. Okay, this person says, I have a ghost question that is bugging me. Oops, let me go. Let me go there because they're texting me right now. <laughs> I just got their text coming in. Okay. Hi, Linda. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. I have a ghost question that is bugging me. When there are a few ghosts that coexist in the same place, is there a hierarchy system? And what if they don't get along? Do they even see each other? Or are they on different dimensions? Big love. All right. So... Big love, you know who you are. Now, I'm going to just take away the phone number. So I'll just show you. There's their message here and they've said a big love, right? So I'm just going to call you Big Love. <laughs> okay, Big Love. Let's go there. Let's just break this all down. When we pass over, we have two, well, three options of where we go. One is we all go home to heaven. Okay, that's what we really do want. Okay, so I always use that as option one. Option two is that we stay earthbound as a ghost. Some people do that, right? Then third option obviously is going to eh, eh, down south the hell experience. But I'm not going to go there today with that one. Okay, so let's talk about ghosts. The person passes over and... In my book, Ghosts Explained, which is on Lulu, if you do want to go and get yourself a copy, right? Um, the link is below in the description. All right, lulu.com. So if you go over there and you read in my book, I go into the psychology of why ghosts stay. And what happens is when a person dies suddenly, okay, they are still in that thought process of what they were doing so let's have a look at some movies okay the one that i really love is bruce willis in that i see dead people movie right he was a child psychologist he got shot by his patient he didn't remember his death so he was still doing every day what he was doing prior to his death so he knew he had a wife so he would still interact with her he knew he had a job where he worked from home, so every day he would go into his office and keep doing his work. He knew the streets around where he lived because his conscious memories were all of that location, okay? So when he met the little boy, he thought it was just another client coming in, okay? But it was only because that kid could see dead people that he could um, engage like Shelley in my book Ghosts Explained I talk about Shelley because all her conversations are there it's over like nine pages of transcripts of our conversations where she kept talking about what happened the day she died she was telling me about the car accident but she couldn't remember the car accident but she remembered the skidding in the rain she remembered that they were all going over to an island she remembered who was in the car she remembered things before she died okay so that's very important so i'm linda in this existence of linda who's now 56 years old i'm aware that in my house right now i've got that little white dog i've got the terry ghost is here i've got the little 12 year old boy here and i've got a few others that don't really tell me who they are and then i've also got terry that pops in every now and again so I'm already aware of these people or animals. But what if there's 20 here? So that comes up to about 15 approximately that I don't know that are really here. So if I die and I become a ghost in this house, do I now engage and interact with those ones? No, because when we die, we're incapable of learning new things. That's why ghosts cannot go and do a PhD. They can't go and get a new job. They can't go and make new friends unless 
they were already consciously aware or should I say had memories of these entities, beings, animals, whatever before they died. Okay? So, so when we've got two or more inhabiting the same house, did they know each other like me with say the Terry ghost because I'm aware of Terry. So when I pass over and if I stay here as a ghost, will I interact with Terry? Probably yes because I'm already aware of Terry. I already know what he's like. I've already seen him. So now we go into that conscious connection, which is like what I call about psychic abilities. Okay, so we have that connection in our conscious awareness of what we have. And if you want to go scientific here, it's through our synaptic network of our neuroplasticity where our neutron, oh my God, let's just go there. You know how atoms are made of neurons, electrons and protons, right? They're now saying that neurons is what our sparking, because it's a spark or a quark, right? So it quarks an electromagnetic field. Wow! So this is now science as well as psychology, okay? So in my book, Psychics Explained, which will be coming out in about three weeks, I explain the scientific reasons as to why we now get psychic abilities, why we can see our past grandmother, why we walk into a house and we just know things about the house. So it's all about electromagneticism, Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> through our own atoms of our brain where electromagneticism has created that spark okay oh my god so let's make this in two words that we can all understand okay because i don't want to blow too many people away right so don't lose me on the scientific formulas here all right so do they interact and know they are all there only the ones that they knew when before they passed okay now let's go to another movie nicole kidman in the others she was in the big house with her two kids right they didn't know that they were dead because the mum actually suffocated them all and they died their father her wife her husband i should say her, Nicole Kidman's husband went off to war and they told her that he was killed in action. So she was in a lot of dis, um, distress. De um, she was desperate. What do I do now? How do I pay the bills? Let's all just take the simple solution. So please do not take that out. Please talk to me and go and see a professional medical officer if you do ever feel in stress, okay? But in this example of this book, which was a movie, it's called The Others. Nicole Kidman, there was a maid in the house and two others. There was three of them. And they were coming to the house and she didn't know who they were. She could see them, but she couldn't understand who they were. There was no interaction with them because there was no interaction with them before she killed herself and the kids. Okay. So when they're in the walking through the field, they find the gravestones, okay? And they work it out. But that, I don't believe that in real story because it's only Hollywoodism making it a story, okay? So it is easy to get misinformation in the paranormal field, okay? I don't think that a ghost is capable, in my own personal opinions, okay? I don't think a ghost is capable of learning new things, okay? Bruce Willis, in his role as a child psychologist, he couldn't decide, oh, well, now I'm going to go into grief counselling because this kid's really upset. I'm going to go and study new things. They can't do that because they haven't got the brain to now learn through the atoms, okay, of our synaptic network which retains our memories they don't have that anymore they're now in energetic being state okay so they can't do it all right so it all comes down to memories what they knew before they died okay 
They are incapable of learning new experiences or interacting with new people. All right, so they can only interact with the ones that they did know. Now, let's go over to the TV show. It's called Ghosts. It's on here in Australia. It's an American show. It's a TV series, Ghosts, about a guy and a girl. They buy a, oh, oh no, she actually inherits the old mansion and they turn it into a bed and breakfast. They've got the ghost of the colonial soldier. They've got the, the really, um, I, I will call her obese and she's got the dark skin, right? She's a native, like a South African lady. She was an opera singer, right? We've got the hippie who's called Flower and she's always off on her mushroom trips, okay? If you know the show. How do they all interact and where they're learning new things? They learn how to use the internet. They learn how to turn on and off the TV. Now, Flower, who was from the 1970s, the hippie, she may know how to use a TV, but would she know how to use the internet? No, it would be out of her capacity to learn new technology because she didn't have it when she was alive, okay? The colonial soldier from the 17 or 1800s, he wouldn't even know how to turn on a TV, Okay, he wouldn't know how to use a toaster because electricity hadn't even been invented. So it is very much misinformation with these shows, but it makes really good TV watching. Okay, because that's even why I watch it because I love the show and I love the characters. Okay, I love the scout guy who died, you know, who's a scout leader and he's got the arrow through his neck. He's a classic. Okay, I love him. All right, so. I hope that that's asked some, um, answered some questions for you today. Please know that you can comment below um, what you think, if this is real or what you have in your perspective, okay, because we're all entitled to our own opinions because no one has yet definitively proven this through science or sex psychology, correct? So we're all open to our own opinions. Secondly, if you do want a copy of my book, um, I've got the thumb um, the thumbnail on this video is my ghost. I actually caught him at Tawong. Here is his photos, okay, there's one, there's two, and there's his third photo. I caught him over at the Tawong Cemetery. Um, yeah, why did he come to me? So I've used him as the cover of my book, it's called Ghosts Explained, it's on Lulu. So I talk about him in there, why he came to me as well, because he didn't even show himself to me, you know, he came up on my camera roll. Wow, what a little sneaky little bugger he was. Anyway, so let's just go there. Um, for, um, if you do want to have a private chat with me about something that's going on in your house, my email is also in the description below. Okay, so yeah, I hope that's answered your questions for you today, guys. And I hope that you've enjoyed this one as usual. Stay true to yourself. Stay in love and spread the joy to everybody. Don't fear what's going on in the world, okay, because ultimately our souls are eternal even knowing we do have three options when we pass over. Love you all. Talk to you all soon. Bye.